We played 12, 13 gigs and uh, had really revved up. Now we're going to go play at the Shock Theater. And we thought, well, what are we going to do for a show? And so Steve's, you know, he's, he's looking around. So we steal a fire extinguisher and we bring it along and put it underneath the um, drum riser. And we kind of thought it'd be sort of like dry ice or something. It kind of worked like that. So anyway, during the show, he's doing the usual thing. He's throwing, he's stolen cat food from his cat while apparently the cat was eating it. He went up and scooped it up. So he's throwing cat food at people. Get to the last song. And I remember looking at him just before that, and there was like nobody home. Like he was off in just some shark land. And he grabs the fire extinguisher and he hits it. And it like, it's one of those dry chemical ones. It goes right across. And it's like silent for a second. And we stop because we're like, so we can't believe it. And then all of a sudden, wham, we hit the last chords and we all split because we can't breathe. 200 people have to run out of the shock theater because none of them can breathe. Like, you know, Paul Robertson, I remember there, and a few other friends, George Dean Higgins, screaming out the back doors of the thing. And we ran out the back. And we thought, oh, we're going to get killed. But everyone liked it.